What is going on guys, it is Lely 2 here and this is episode 7 of the My Club series. As you can see we start off this episode with a top player agent and when I actually got this guy I thought he's French, he's small, he's the destroyer and he's a defensive midfielder and his actual work rate is 99. First thing I thought, Makaleli and when I got that player I thought this has got to be a good signing for me so we'll see how that pans out. So I tried to push my look for a defender but I ended up getting a black ball, uh, not a black ball, a gold ball defender and ends up being this player called Bryson who is actually going to get in my first team because I haven't really got a good left back at the moment. So we go into this episode trying to pick up some form from the last one because if you've seen the last episode you'll know that I actually lost like 4 out of 5 matches playing in the competition mode which felt like a bag of shit to me. Now before I go into this gameplay I just want to give you guys a quick apologies for the lack of videos I've been uploading recently because I've just been enjoying the game that much that I've not actually given myself any time to edit these videos. Now it's going to be head down and just start making videos so I should be getting videos up at least every two days and as I'm actually watching this right now I'm actually like itching to play so it's going to be a tough task to sit there and just edit but I'll get it done. So we actually go into the gameplay now and as you can see I get a 1 on 1, I should have actually made it 3-0 there but the keeper does well to stay tall enough for long enough to actually stop it going into the back of the net. Then here I actually made a mistake with Ramos thinking I had the ball and I could dribble away with it but I never actually got it. So he gets 1 on 1 and pops it into the back of the net to make it 2-1 and then right before the end of the half he actually strikes back with a lovely counter attack. and. You know, I didn't think I did so much wrong here but he does a nice finish and puts it into the back of the net to make it 2-2. So as you can see I'm not actually playing my best football yet but the game definitely felt a lot better than the competitions mode which filled me with a bit of confidence and that confidence actually ends up hurting me right at the start of the second half because as I'm trying to chuck bodies forward straight away like it's the last minute I get caught straight away and he makes it 3-2 and then it doesn't take me long to strike back I thought you know I'm not going to take chances here I'm 3-2 down. I was just actually needing the win at that stage so I'll take the goals as they come and then anytime you see the video quality drop like this it's because for some weird reason Sony Vegas won't render some parts of the file. I don't know why because it works totally fine with everywhere else and it always ends up being the parts which are vital to me. So as you can see the goalkeepers make no saves and I end up winning 4-3 so a much needed win for me there because I just bounced back from like 4 defeats from the competition mode. So. I was actually going to just go into the next uh, season but the last match of the season was against a really strong team and just to show you how much form I was picking back up you can see I was up against Ronaldo, Gotsa and some other big boys as well. So we're going to the first bit of action in this match and as you can see I play a really bad pass out wide but he follows it up with a really bad header into a dangerous area which Benteke shows him just how dangerous it was to give me the lead in the first 10 minutes. Obviously he had a really good team so chances weren't going to fall so easily for me. So I bought on Harnik and I bought on Nazri. And don't you just love it when your substitutes combine immediately like these two did. And look at that in such a stylish way to kill off the game because that guy wasn't getting many chances. Mavuba was a rock this match. And you're going to see the stats actually show you that I was just doing such a good job to keep him at arm's length. And basically I really had control of that match and Mavuba did a brilliant job that match. That was the first match where I thought, whoa, what a player he was. So we go into the first match in Division 8 and as you can see I'm up against a really good team here as well. And I always forget to actually give my players some rest or you know the stamina boosts because I have about 80 stamina boost cards but I just never use them. So we go into the first bit of action and I get off to a great start in Division 8. I was actually a bit lucky there because I thought Buffon might have actually smothered that but he doesn't and I obviously get the lead so I started to get lucky there but then this ref decides that I've had a bit too much luck and he decides to give me the world's softest yellow card and he gives this guy some free kick practice as well so he ends up taking that free kick just over and then I actually play my way into a bit of trouble here by trying to play my way out I give him a free shot on the edge of the box which he hits wide and he really should have done better there but then again I try to do something which was unneeded I really should have just lumped up with the goalkeeper towards Benteke but I tried it with Fanny instead it ends up getting blocked he wins the ball back and puts it into the back of the net to make it 1-1 and you'll know why I said I should have just lumped it with the keeper in a moment but I tried to go for an immediate response and it's a good cross but Benteke really should have done better and at least hit the target so the next goal kick I get I obviously learn and I lump it straight up to Benteke and when this pays off like it does now I just slap myself for thinking why on earth did I go short and 
try passing it to Fanny before. Why did I try to complicate things when I got such a beast up top, so which will win pretty much anything in the air? So I don't know why I tried to change the angle before. But then with about 10 minutes to go till half time, the ref strikes again. Both times I did not put a challenge in. Both times all I did was hold the pressure button. Both times the ref was being a dick and ends up sending me off. So I had to sacrifice Enzonzi. I put Fanny in from right back to centre back. Took Enzonzi off at right back and replaced him with Mano. But from the free kick he ends up scoring with Mario Gotze. And then I thought if I'm going to get a goal it has to be immediately. Because if the game settles I'm going to find it really hard to get chances. And I worked the ball to Royce one on one with the keeper. who goes for a lob shot but ends up playing a lovely 1-2 off the post. And I make it 3-2. Then at this point right now you're going to find out that I'm actually playing with 9 men. So it says he's coming back from treatment. It takes a little while before he actually comes on the pitch. But at that stage it was a bit too late. I had no out ball and I ended up getting trapped at the end of the first half. And I felt really good at this stage because I just felt like this guy did not deserve to be on level terms. Especially with him being dirty hence why I was playing with 9 men. First he was lucky to be up against 10 because the ref obviously fucked me in the A. But then obviously he actually got away with a dirty challenge and I had a player injured. So because of that injury I was down to 9 men and then obviously that's why I felt really aggrieved. So when I actually missed that header which you just saw now I say I missed but such a tame header back into Buffon's arms. I was thinking this is just not going to be my day because I was finding chances really hard to come by at this stage. This is my first chance of the second half. But then when Ben Teke got one on one with Buffon there, the only reason I struck it with that much power was because it is Buffon. If it was anyone else, I would have probably just tried to side put it in. But it was a beautiful finish from Ben Teke to make it 4 3. And then my goalkeeper there with a really big save. And then this guy, I don't know what he's doing. He's just somehow managing to find himself. Like playing his way into trouble so I bring Nasri on and that was an inch perfect pass when you start to find players like Nasri with a header in the box like that just off the shoulder of the defender then you know you're starting to find your inch perfect passes but then Fanny becomes a real hero here because Fanny saves the keeper massively there with that little block and then he actually headers the ball out towards Benteke and then Benteke doesn't pick the pass straight away he waits because I was trying to sit the defenders into Penteke that's exactly what he does he plays it to Marco Royce and now I'll end this episode because we have no doubts in what is happening here so he makes it 5-3 and that gets me off to a great start in division 8 so I get the first win and it's a 5-3 win really could have been more if the ref hadn't been such a prick but guys that is the end of this episode if you did enjoy this episode remember to give it a thumbs up if you want to see how I get on in division 8 remember to subscribe and thanks for watching guys